Welcome back to my channel, my fish and I. How to culture Daphnia. First I go get some Daphnia from my other culture and to show you. And I'm gonna show you this is the easiest way to do it. You get your Daphnia, get a five gallon bucket. And we're gonna start the process of creating live food for your inhabitants, your fish, your shrimp, whatever. So you see when you get, you need for it to, when you have that old fish food, the sediment at the bottom, don't throw it away. I use that to make the food to feed the Daphnia with some, mix it with the spirulina. Fill up your five gallon bucket with some tank water or dechlorinated water, that standing water. Just let it sit for 24 hours if you can. But if you're using the tank water, you can use the Daphne right away. And once you get the tank water, I just took the water from one of my tank. I threw the Daphne in the five gallon bucket. Real simple. Sort it around, make sure I don't get any, miss any Daphne, because I'm gonna use them to populate this bucket because their life cycle is like seven days so within seven days it's gonna be those little bit that you saw it's gonna be full up of daphnia so once you pour your daphnia in your five gallon bucket you take your spirulina you to, i like some people just use spirulina alone but what i do is anytime i have any fish food in the bottom it always have a little like dust I don't throw those out I always put it in a container and I like to mix it with my spirulina and that's what I'm gonna use to feed my Daphnia so I already mixed that little contraption and sprinkle some of the spirulina in the Daphnia culture so what I'm talking about is like I have this large pellet it was done and I'll take my spirulina and on the bottom of that pellet when all the pellets done it's fine powder that makes very good food for fry and also great food for your Daphnia great food for your black worms because I have I have a bunch of life food culture I have black worms I have Daphnia I have brain shrimp going at the same time so i always use all i make sure i don't waste nothing in the fish room so those powder dust it's like food for those guys you know what i'm saying it's like a cycle so they eat the food so at least i know what's going in with the daphnia and all my inhabitants in the black worm when they eat it i know they're getting good nutrients and all the vitamins so when my fish eat the daphnia and the black worms I know what's going in them, in their gut, you know what I'm saying? I know everything that's going in that's good. So as I say, I show you, I feed some of the stuff to the Daphne and just swimming around in there and they're used to eating this type of stuff because I have a rain barrel full of them. And any little dust, I just feed it to the little fries. I have some guppy fries growing up in there. Uh, here's a little guy eating those dust and powder. So don't throw out those things, man. You got to save them because some people just throw it out. I'm just showing you. That's fry food. It's very fine. And the fry, love it. So once again, I forgot to tell you what I put in my Daphne culture. I usually put some eggshells. I crush it up like this. Use it. You don't have to do it, but... I find if I'm not gonna leave my culture, even if I leave my culture outside, I find that once I put the eggshell in it, the culture um, doesn't crash as often. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't crash easily. Yeah, because I find the eggshell make the water harder. You know what I'm saying? So one thing about Daphne is at least you see how it's in. You feed the fish. Temperature Daphne like is like. 68 Fahrenheit or 20 degrees Celsius higher temperature will kill them so if you have them in a hot weather outside your culture is more likely to crash I have a green barrel culture for literally a year and it's going still going strong you know what I'm saying use a large container clear you know what I'm saying 
the wider is better and you allow for more oxygen some people put air pump in their Daphne culture I don't and I don't find it has no um, problem because I'm constantly feeding out of it um, let's see air, I don't see why people aerate the culture because I feel like I tried it one time the reason why I don't aerate my culture because I tried it one time and literally the Daphne of them start dying so instead uh, I don't from that I never do it water change 25% per week that's what I do if you want it to grow larger because you can do twice a week 25% but make sure you use tank water and not just use it, the water in your tank you know what I'm saying just use tank water I find you just doing water change from your other tank just use that water and throw it in there's some stuff in there that Daphne will like another way I do it in the summer is literally I put it outside to make green water and then throw the Daphne culture inside and that works very good too Daphne are suspend feeders and gather food from small particles so that's why the fine powder dust works well and they're eaten by many freshwater fish including as I said guppies make it this far like